Hey everybody, Dr. Anthony with America's Holistic Beauty Doc, and today I'm going to tell you how you can fade dark spots. So there are a number of options for fading dark spots. We're going to start with the ones that are non-invasive, uh, less expensive, and go slightly more expensive. First way to do it is you can use a brightening cream, and there are two different strengths that I recommend. Uh, for those of you who are all into natural and organic, use one that is based off kojic acid. We've got one with my product line, Yoon Beauty. Yoon Beauty Fade Brightening Cream. Okay, it has kojic acid in it. Does work very nicely to brighten the skin and to reduce and fade dark spots. However, if you're not that patient and you want to use something stronger, you can look for one with hydroquinone. Now, this is a 4% hydroquinone product from Zeo Skin Health. Hydroquinone is the most powerful ingredient for skin brightening. Nothing is as powerful as hydroquinone. But the problem with hydroquinone is it has some issues, and that's why I think it's super important for you to know about it. Uh, in laboratory rats, it has been known in high doses to potentially create cancer. That's pretty scary. Um, also, there is a, a phenomenon called ochronosis, where people have dark skin. If they use hydroquinone for long periods of time, it can cause their skin to look darker. Kind of strange. Also, if you, if you use hydroquinone for long periods of time, it can also induce a weird hyperpigmentation when you go off of it. It's kind of called rebound hyperpigmentation. So all of that points to why would you use this then? You know, you've got ochronosis, you've got the risk of um, hyperpigmentation afterwards. The reason is, is that it really does work, but you want to use it for up to six months at a time. Okay, so if you've got really severe spots, age spots that have been treated, your, let's say in your 50s, 60s, 70s, and they're just really bad, then I would go with the hydroquinone cream for up to six months to help reduce those spots aggressively. Once you have those spots in a good place, then I would switch you over to something with more natural and organic ingredients like my Yoon Beauty Brightening Cream. And there are other ones out there that contain kojic acid and niacinamide um, if you want to get something at your local drugstore or your local department store. So look for kojic acid, niacinamide. Those are ones that you can use long term. All right, what else can you do to fade dark spots? Well, the other thing that you can do to fade dark, dark spots is IPL, intense pulse light, otherwise known as a photofacial. So if you have access to a med spa, to a plastic surgeon or dermatologist's office, IPL is a great treatment to basically target the dark spots uh, to zap it with this light, kind of like a laser, it turns those spots darker and they eventually fall off. Uh, and we do have on my YouTube page here, uh, on my channel, some videos where you should be able to watch somebody get IPL treatments. Um, that works great. If you want to combine IPL with either of these creams, whether it's the pigment control with hydroquinone or whether it's a kojic acid based cream, then you can get the ultimate of inside outside treatments. If you're doing IPL, usually you have to expect four to five treatments for maximal clearance of those sunspots, of those age spots. Um, so it does take a bit of time. And then once you get back in the sun, once again, those spots can come back. So very important to stay on a cream like a brightening cream long term. So that is how you treat and fade age spots um, non-invasively. You don't need surgery to do that. 